just watched a two-hour Skittle commercial. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. We have the return of Zachary Levi as boy turned superhero Shazam, who has now shared his powers with the rest of his family. Struggling to keep the superhero family together, he must now face off against the Daughters of Atlas in their vengeful quest to restore the realm of the gods. I just had to Google who the villains were again because I could not for the life of me remember who they were or what god their dad was. Nor can I tell you what any of their names are, nor can I even tell you what they're- no, I'm, I'm spiralling. This movie was somehow complex but dull, funny but cringe, fast paced but dragged, colourful but dreary, you get the point. Basically what we have here is just, we're just riding this incredibly flat line of just average. I watched this honestly like what, three hours ago and I'm already struggling to remember it. I think I already know what I'm going to title this video as well and it might sound savage but honestly it's true because it could have been something great and it was when it landed like 40-50% of the time. Also one of the actresses, Grace Caroline Curry, plays one of the daughters in the family but also her Shazam counterpart. I don't know if that's because when she's older than 18 she suddenly doesn't need the new body and when she takes form or whatnot but surely everyone would know who she is because she's the same person both times and her parents would know easily when they're all over TV and Honestly, I don't get why no one mentions it. It's really confusing. I clearly haven't got all my ducks in a row yet for what I want to talk about, but that just really bothered me. Um, yeah, Zachary Levi, of course, right. Yeah, here he's back as playing Shazam, but doesn't really feel like he's playing Billy Batson. In this film, younger Billy is now nearly 18, whereas it kind of still feels like Zachary Levi is playing like a 14, 15 year old character. Very contrasting personalities in this, but to be fair, this film's about 90% Zachary Levi, 10% younger Billy. So you don't really see much of that contrast. The one that gets the most screen time is actually this dude, Jack Dylan Grazer, who is just 100% in this, which means he's either pretty funny or very annoying. Ironically, probably the only thing about this film that isn't just mediocre. Although this kid drops the best joke of film by far, unfortunately just doesn't do much else. This movie just couldn't pick a lane. Much like my thoughts at the moment, I guess. It wanted to be about Billy coming to grip with turning 18 and losing the support of the foster system. It wanted to be about how his brother Freddy wanted to separate himself from his brother and run away from his disability by playing superhero. It wanted to be about this family all having their own priorities and not being this superhero squad. And the film could have tackled all of that, but unfortunately it had to be this superhero gods versus super people battle flick as well, which just, it just, just was too much for it. The villains couldn't pick a lane either. Were they good? Were they bad? What were they trying to do? What's the MacGuffins they were trying to find? That kept changing. Where were they going? We didn't even know, you know where the characters were going next. It felt very wishy-washy and glazed over. Characters were getting released to then stay in the area, to then get their powers and lose the powers straight away, to then fight again. There was just a lot of this back and forth frustration. It was also just a bit frustrating because they're just so shit at being superheroes. <laughs> Understandably, three of them are kids and you can expect that, but the other three were like nearly 18 or one was over 18 as well. And, and it was just so annoying to see them be so bad at their jobs and in not a humorous way. I will say the CG for the most part was pretty solid. It was weird seeing Lucy Liu ride a dragon though like that. And yeah, Lucy Liu, Helen Mirren, both villains in here. Weird seeing both of them here, to be honest. Helen Mirren has a fight scene in here. I'm pretty sure she's like 70 and Obviously, it's not her, and I wonder why she chose to do this film. Anyway, they're, they're both here, but their dialogue and their actions are pretty static, and there's not really anything they can do with it. And there were some genuine sprinkles of greatness in here, which is a shame. I loved the intro, and I loved the introduction to the superheroes again and the family. I thought that was fun. Some of the cinematography at the end was really great, despite it being a weird finale with a half-baked plan that kind of really worked because the villains were just so bad at being villains. So there's some genuine moments of greatness, but they just lacked a bit of imagination. And that includes the powers, the superheroes, and, and, and even the dragon. They all look good, but they're all also not really doing much. They're just kind of flying into buildings. Jaiman Honsu, great to see him back, but poor guy's just wearing a robe and a wig and talking crazy things all movie. And actually towards the end of the film, he gets a big wardrobe and character change. And I'd rather they just had him be like that for the whole film. That was way better to watch. There's not really much to say for this one. If you do watch it though, please tell me what you think about that Skittle scene. I could not roll the eyes into the back of my head further enough. It was so painful. I have not seen product placement that bad since probably Michael Bay Transformers. A lot of teasers at the end, things that I don't think will lead into anything. A lot of cameos too, some of which I'm pretty sure are in the trailers, really trying to sell those tickets, I guess. We all know by now James Gunn is just wiping the slate clean. I'd be surprised if this one made the cut. But anyways, that's Shazam. 
One to maybe put on in the background maybe, not sure I'd really recommend this one, at least going to see it in cinemas. You can easily wait for this one to stream, although I did have these diehard Shazam fans behind me in the cinema and they were absolutely loving it, so if you're a real DC enthusiast then you might still have a good time with this one to be fair. But yeah, it came out last weekend so maybe you've already had a chance to see it. If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you found this review helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe and all that stuff. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews of movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys, take care. Bye bye.